Please welcome your next character, a NASA engineer. Uh, good morning, uh, America. What an exciting week for NASA and 20th century space science. As the senior lead engineer of this week's historic space shuttle mission, I am so proud to share all the innovations we've made just to send America's first woman to space. 1983, the lady Dr. Sally Ride. <laughs> Who would have thought we didn't? <laughs> So many of you keep asking why the heck we try to send the good lady doctor to space with 100 tampons for one week's stay. <laughs> to that we say, hey, it's science. We sometimes make mistakes, but we learn from them. Turns out being on the rag doesn't always look like the shining elevator scene. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like I would like to remind the American people that NASA's top men engineers have been thoroughly preparing for our first lady woman American in space. <laughs> to ensure the safety of Dr. Woman Sally Ride, our men have accounted for every potential lady hazard imaginable. So okay. we might have overdone it on the menzies, but our team has done some groundbreaking, very personal research by finally paying attention to our own wives and daughters. <laughs> Let me share some of our best work yet. First, Miss Doctress Sally Rides, health is our top priority. So our team packed a cargo load of ice cream and chocolates for space. <laughs> Based on 50 men engineers experience with their wives and teen daughters, we found that PMS is a serious space danger. <laughs> Imagine all the astronauts getting kicked out of the space shuttle for accidentally suggesting the Earth is looking kind of wide at the equator. Oof. <laughs> We've all been there, and we don't need that in space. All right, we got some questions from the room. Uh, yes, Mr. Warner from the Tribune. What if Lady Astronaut Sally Ride starts weeping if things get too hard on the job? Wow, that's pretty offensive. We've obviously planned for exactly that. <laughs> My team of men have invented and installed teeny tiny vacuums to suck out salty lady tears before it can damage <laughs> billions and billions <laughs> worth of men. Floating water in space is bad. Floating emotions, oof, catastrophe city. <laughs> These straw vacuums are conveniently located anywhere a lady astronaut like Dr. Ride is likely to curl up into a ball and cry her eyes out in the shuttle. <laughs> At Darwin's, after she slams the space door shut in the bathroom, as she hides when the space in-laws are around, and of course, in her pillow as she cries herself to sleep. I personally would like to thank my wife, Gina, for that one. <laughs> uh, yes, Dixon from CNN. What about communication technologies? Great question. Uh, we've actually made a breakthrough in our space shuttle communications systems. To accommodate the comms lag between Houston and the shuttle, onboard computers are designed to assume what Dr. Lady Red is about to say and talk over her. <laughs> she won't need to waste her beautiful lady science breath at all. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, onboard computers will absolutely repeat anything woman doctor Sally Ride will say, except louder and in a deeper voice so manstronauts can better hear her. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What about technical difficulties? Our manstronauts are already trained to talk over women, so... There we go. <laughs> Please, no applause. We're just proud to show the amazing things our science men can do for women without asking them. You're welcome. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah. Kyle Marion, everybody. 